Hello everybody, uh, I just thought I'd like uh, to show you an engine that I built, a completed building in 1985. Uh, it was supposed to appear at the first thousand engine rally in Patton, but it uh, uh, didn't get finished till September, so uh, this is uh, my Sphinx engine, number 103, it's the first um, of its line. Uh, originally um, had a high tension spark ignition uh, system, but uh, we've uh, just um, converted it to hot tube ignition uh, with a the gas ring I'll try and come in. Um, ceramic fiber within the tube chimney. The tube chimney is borrowed off uh, our Robinson gas engine. Okay. Um, now, what is interesting is uh, I spotted uh, a star wheel um, ship by good friend Jeff Challoner from the Anton Engine Museum. Sent me the patent drawings for way, way back. Uh, this is Horace Robinson's 1890 patent to overcome uh, what was then uh, Nicholas Augusto Otto's uh, stranglehold on the four-stroke cycle. Um, as you can see, it's uh, effectively the push rod is going at oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. crank speed. <laughs> We're going to lose it. Oh, <laughs> um, oh dear. Oh well, a bit of peace anyway. Um, I've modified the engine. Uh, a lot of people, well, a few people that have built them uh, will notice that this is very different. Uh, we've put a, or I've put a, an extension type of guide on the valve because uh, what we found was uh, with a long push rod. Uh, if the engine misfired or went backwards, in fact, what would happen is the push rod would actually get caught under the valve uh, stem and, and bend it. So, what I did was make an extended valve, um, and then this uh, sort of this tube screws on here and guides the uh, guides the valve, and it works a treat. Oh, now we burst into flames. I'll just turn the gas off. Um, there we are. Um, we're going to take it to the Anson this weekend. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching.